so in this video i'll be showing you best ways to use your conditioner and also my conditioning hacks that will help you give you the best results after conditioning so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and let's begin guys the first hack is me turning my conditioner into a diy hydrating hair max so this first hack comes in handy if you don't have a hair max but still want to treat and deep condition your hair so to make this max i usually make use of my regular conditioner so i just used to eyeball this i just make use of enough to cover my entire hair next i'm going in with my jamaican black castor oil and i'm making use of just one teaspoon okay next i'm going in with my almond oil so i just made use of two teaspoon of that okay that is equivalent to probably a spoon so next i'm going in with my honey and i'm also going to add two teaspoon of that okay that is equivalent to a tablespoon so after that i'm just going to mix everything together make sure it's all mixed together and then i move on to applying this onto my hair like i said this is like a diy hydrating hair mask so i usually do this anytime maybe i probably run out of like ingredients to make hair mask so i just make um a hair max a hydrating hair max out of my conditioner and this also works okay so for the application i just make sure to apply this in section hair max you want to apply it on a wet hair okay you do not want to apply apply any hair max any of your hair marks on a dry hair because then it wouldn't give your hair the chance to absorb all the nutrients so make sure you apply your hair marks on a wet hair so i just go ahead and apply that onto my hair and after application i make sure to cover my hair with a shower cap and then leave this on for about 40 to 40 minutes to an hour before i rinse it out so i rinse out and then continue with the rest of my wash day routine so moving on to hack number two the second hack helps me a lot when i want to reduce the appearance of split ends so what i do is i condition my ends first before shampooing so i do this on the days i don't like do hair max treatments so guys the end of our hair is also part of the hair that needs moisture the most so conditioning them first creates like a protective layer that prevents the shampoo from stripping its natural oils so this will help keep it hydrated and reduce the appearance of split ends so first you make sure to soak your hair in warm water of course i already did that for like a minute next is to wring out the excess water from the ends and apply a good amount Amount of conditioner to the end. application I just carry on with my normal hair wash routine so for the next conditioning hack after shampooing before applying my conditioner I try wringing out excess water from my hair so this is because if you apply conditioner on a dripping hair the product will slip out of the hair and won't be absorbed into the hair so I just crunch up my hair in this upwards motion like so to get rid of excess water and i go in to apply my conditioner so moving on to the fourth hack for application you want to make sure to apply your conditioner in sections so this just helps distribute the conditioner evenly and properly this also help prevent your hair from excessive tangling so, and you know after shower so which a lot of people face so guys for the fifth hack you want to apply your conditioner from your mid length to your ends and not on your scalp please i see so many people when conditioning they condition from their scalp conditioners are actually made meant for your hair strands okay focus on your hair strands and all the way to your ends just leave your scalp alone you don't want to clog up your scalp okay 
so for the sixth conditioning hack i detangle after or while applying my conditioner so many people ask me why i do this so i highly recommend detangling um you know while you're applying your conditioner so this is because little tangles might have you know developed as a result of friction while shampooing your hair Going in with your brush or your detangle brush will actually help smooth them all out and also I love how it clumps up my coils like so. So guys for the seventh hack after conditioning my hair I let the conditioner sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. So rinsing out the conditioner immediately will not give the hair that hydration and also it won't seal the, the hair cuticles which will help keep your hair smooth, less tangle, less brittle that the conditioner provides at the end of your shower so i always make sure to cover my hair with like a shower cap which will help steam and also help the conditioner penetrate my hair so i just let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes or sometimes depending on the instruction on the bottle moving on to the next conditioning hack when it's time to rinse out the conditioner i recommend using cold water so this will help seal in the moisture and also close up the hair cuticle so guys for the final conditioning hack after rinsing out my conditioner i usually like applying my leave-ins while my hair is still wet but if my hair is like still dripping wet i just wring out any excess water and then i go in and apply my leave-in conditioner in sections of course and i follow up with my oils to help lock in my moisture i usually like applying that onto my scalp and also to the ends of my hair as well and after that i make sure to twist it back up sometimes i might decide to go in with my microfiber towel to you know dry it or i just let it air dry but so guys this conditioning hacks always make my hair come out looking so smooth less tangles and it makes it very easy for me to manipulate you know and style so guys this is my hair after i got out of the shower amazing result after conditioning so guys thank you so much for watching this video hope this video was helpful if it was don't forget to like leave your comment subscribe if you haven't done that already and i'll talk to you guys in my next one bye